Hey, you. You got something to say about me? Say it to my face. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't care. You got something to say about me? Good for you. Stand in line, take a number, whatever. Who cares? And that's what I want to talk about. It's people who get all worked up thinking that someone talks shit about them. Let them talk. Forget about it. If you're this guy and you're hanging out with these people and you're talking shit about this guy and he's not even there and you're talking, talking, talking and everybody's all, ooh. All right. And now all of these people are hanging out with this guy and now they're all talking, talking, talking. Hey, you know what so-and-so said about you? Oh, they said this, they said that. First of all, what do you think you're doing? Are you solving a problem between these two? You're not. If you're this guy... You gotta realize that all these people, what they said, half of it is probably not even what he said or the intent of what he said. It's probably bits and pieces they remember and it's taken out of context. And don't care, don't worry about it. What, don't worry about it. What this guy said about you determines who he is. It doesn't determine who you are. You should know who you are. These people should know who you are. And you gotta ask yourself, what is the intent of these people by telling you that and getting involved? And what's even worse than that, now that we have Facebook, is these people that like to talk, talk, talk and stir up shit between people now have a tool called the screenshot. So if this guy is having a bad day and he goes on his social media and he vents a po post event, like vents about something and he's talking crap about a place, a person or a thing or whatever, and it's out there. And then now two minutes later, he realizes he feels better because he vented. And, all right, I look like an idiot by saying that. Let me delete. Well, guess what? It's deleted. or it, You can't delete it. You can delete it, but it's too late. Because these people just took your power away from you. Because they screenshotted it. And sent it to that person, place, or thing. Hey, look at this. And you have to ask yourself again. What is the intent? What was the intent of those people to screenshot that? With, which up there in social media land for two minutes to screenshot it and send it to you. It's the same people that like to talk shit. What is the intent? The intent is not to solve problems or make things better. The intent is to stir up shit and keep the chaos going and things fester and get out of control. And there's no purpose to it. There's no good can come from it. I know for me, my life, people have been talking shit about me in my entire life. Hell, my own mother talked shit about me, whatever. And I used to allow that to really frustrate me and work me up and make me angry all the time. And I'm always defending myself and trying to stick up for myself and trying to get people to understand that what they heard or think they know about me is not who I am. Why don't you, instead of listening to that and being part of that energy, spend the energy getting to know me? People don't, though. They'd rather get caught up and make their opinions formed on what they heard instead of getting to know you. And I used to let that frustrate me. And then my dear friend, Liam McCafferty, may he rest in peace, years ago said, Spinelli, hey, if they're talking about you, then you must be something. Whether it's good or bad, if they're talking about you, you must be something for them to waste their time talking about you. And it was like, ah, right. So if you're talking about me or talking about him or him or her, they, we all must be something that we could take up so much headspace and residency in your being that you got no, nothing better to do with your time than talk shit about us. Is there something I have that you want? Are you jealous of my good ideas and fun things and who I am? Come on. I got nothing for you to be jealous of. I got nothing for you to be angry over. So instead of spending the energy shit talking about somebody or sharing the shit talk about somebody, why don't you spend that energy on finding what it is that you need to fix in yourself. Because if you had con total peace in yourself, you would not be steering the pot. You would not be spending the time, wasting your time on social media, screenshotting and screenshot and sending shit to people. Grow up. Grow up. You know, like Kay's mother told him growing up, if you got nothing else to say, say nothing at all. We all heard that as kids. Well, we never apply it as kids. And in fact, all you 40 and 50, 60 year olds staring up the shit and talking shit and calling people names and spreading gossip, you're like 10 year olds on a schoolyard, except for now your schoolyard is on here. Come on. I never understood that. 
but now that I get older, I understand that. I see it with social media more and more. I, it made me understand that. Everybody's on social media sharing their opinions and their opinions on politics and fighting over this and COVID mask not, whatever. You guys are all fighting and over stuff. And what you don't understand is you can share your remarks and comments and try to force your opinion down someone else's throat on their own thread or their stupid shared meme of non-facts and they're not getting it. You can't change someone's mind on social media. So I no longer get baited. You want to share memes that are not true? Good for you. Have fun with it. If that's how you get through your day, good. To have a good time with it. I am not going to get baited and try to share facts. The facts are out in Google. Google it. There's facts everywhere. There's so much information and data out there right now that you can spend the two seconds to look something up before you share a meme. But you choose not to. Just like you choose to spread gossip and send screenshots. We all get to make the choices of how we're gonna spend our time. And if that's how you wanna spend your time, good for you. I choose not to spend my time that way. And you know, I'm in permanent AFib now because uh, scar tissue at Fumble Bernard as a kid, which we'll talk about that another time. You know, it's a lot of uh, trauma that defines who I am today and why I don't put up with people's bullshit. But we'll talk about that another time. So I don't allow to get myself get baited because I can't afford to have the adrenaline rush and then make myself dizzy and make myself crazy and then I have a panic attack. Not worth it. I got AFib. I'm going to keep myself calm. So if you want to talk shit about me, have fun with it. Enjoy it. Make sure it's juicy. You want to call me names? Remember, the names you call me determine who you are, not me. You calling me a name is not going to change my life one bit. But you're going to get all worked up. And that's too bad. So if you, you know, instead of spending energy on negativity, why don't we spend some energy on positivity and try to build each other up instead of wasting so much energy tearing each other down. Everybody can find something nice to say about everybody on the planet. You know, hey, point out something that you like their hair today. Their hair looks good. Or you like their outfit. Or you know they've been working hard in accomplishment and point, say something nice about that. You know, they put so much effort and work into or something about their beautiful kids and their wonderful grandchildren that you know they're proud of. Everybody has something good about them that you can point out a positivity to everybody every day. Why don't you just start with one person at one day? Walk by somebody, even a perfect stranger, a nice little kind word, a nod, a smile could affect them and change their world. You have no idea. So instead of being all of this and all of this, let's try to be part of something positive and be good to each other. And instead of trying to outdo each other and trying to be better than each other, let's just all realize we're all on the same team. We're all running the same race. We're all going to end up in the same hole in the ground. So I don't understand why there's just so much chaos and conflict and blah, blah, blah about people. Grow up. Grow the fuck up already. So today... I challenge you to find one nice thing to say about one person. One person. Whether it's about their hair, their outfit, something. We all got something. Share a smile. It's easy. It's really easy to do. And, you know, and just accept things. Like, look at this crazy hair. Do you like my crazy hair? But this is what God gave me. These curls that I can't do anything with. I can't hair whip. I can't do anything with it. This is it. My helmet-shaped curly mess. It's, you know. But this is what God gave me and I accept it. And that's, that. I'm not going to let it frustrate me. And that life is that easy. That's where peace comes from. It comes from just simply accepting who we are as we are and tolerating those around us for who they are. Not getting involved in all of this or all of this. Just be happy. Peace. Find peace. It's easy. For all of you, have a great day.